Hi. 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 Wow, nice to see you all. The, uh, <laughs> the, uh, thank you all for coming by. Uh, people have had various questions this morning uh, that you've asked, and I thought it would be more efficient if we all talked together, and so we asked you to come by. I'm happy to answer uh, all of your questions. I don't particularly have a statement uh, should, to lead with. Senator so Senator Rosenberg step down? I think he needs to seriously consider whether he can continue or could uh, come back and continue to lead the Senate. I think it would be very, very difficult uh, for him to do so. You lead the Senate itself? Well, I've always thought that whether someone remains in the Senate is really a question uh, for the people that sent them here to begin with. Uh, but I would say that um, it would be premature for me to comment on any developments of that nature, any actions of that nature, because I want to remind everybody that I am a member of the Ethics Committee and I take that responsibility very seriously and I would not want to say or do anything uh, that would either breach that responsibility or compromise the operations of the Ethics Committee uh, because the members of that committee, including me, also take its work very seriously. Doesn't suggesting that he shouldn't serve as Senate President exactly compromise the purpose of this investigation, which is to see if he did nothing wrong. If he did nothing wrong, that's due process. He should not have to step down. As well, that would rely on the investigation being completed, and there are a lot of folks that don't seem willing to wait for that before asking questions. Uh, the investigation is ongoing. It is active. The things that have been reported in the Globe are included within the scope of the investigation. So uh, I, I agree with you, and that's why uh, I am merely suggesting that it would be very difficult uh, for him to return and to lead the Senate. Uh, I am not going to speculate about anything else except to say uh, that the investigation is active, it is ongoing, and I think all of us are hoping that it will come uh, to its conclusion as quickly as possible, uh, but also that it be as comprehensive as possible because uh, we know about uh, certainly one issue that's been raised in the newspaper. I think it's important that we look at all of the issues that might be out there. How distracting has, has this been? Uh, is the Ethics Committee meeting today? Well, first of all, uh, the meetings of the Ethics Committee are now uh, subject to the rules of executive session. It's been closed. And uh, my interpretation of the rule is that the, uh, it's had one meeting that continues to meet. And so uh, it is not uh, within my purview uh, to inform you about uh, when it may or may not meet. But I will say to you, uh, I think it's a fair comment that the Ethics Committee has been meeting regularly. What Senator, role uh, are the... Point, Charming, go ahead. At this point, you have... Uh, drip, 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 sort of, over the last few months, mm -hmm. uh, coming out in the Globe. Every other week we hear something new. Um, why shouldn't he step down as senator right now, if nothing else, to preserve at least the appearance of integrity of the Senate? Well, it's been a drip, drip, drip in terms of, uh, with all due respect, the newspaper and the media. There is an ongoing investigation being conducted by professional investigators, and uh, you could uh, reasonably uh, discuss the fact that that investigation should be what determines uh, the fate of someone rather than uh, reports that are in the newspaper. I would also say uh, that the investigator uh, is welcoming uh, comment and information from anyone who has relevant information. And I would hope if the people that are reporting those stories would like to assist uh, in this process, uh, that they would provide that information to the investigator as soon as possible so that it can be part of his consideration. What role, will the what role will Republicans play in choosing the next Senate president? Well, the, the Republicans, uh, I think, will always play a role because the election of a Senate president is done uh, by a majority vote of the body. And I, I think it's uh, appropriate to remind you all uh, that I will be a candidate for uh, Senate president, as I have been uh, on the last number of occasions that that's occurred. I think it's also important to tell you uh, that I have been uh, requested by my caucus uh, to pursue the presidency as vigorously as possible. And so I am presuming nothing uh, about the party of the next Senate president. Obviously, uh, we would all speculate that it would be uh, someone from the majority party. Uh, but I want to point out that, uh, that I, too, uh, am a candidate. And I think that uh, I have a lot to offer, but that may be a discussion for another day. Could your caucus vote for Democrats? Democrats? I think my caucus could vote for uh, anyone. Uh, they are certainly free to do so, and I would take nothing off the table uh, with regard to the election of uh, the next Senate president. Should the next Senate president, should the election next Senate president be put off until the next session so to create some stability in the Senate right now? I think there's some merit to that idea, and uh, I suspect uh, it will be being discussed uh, throughout the day as to what the appropriate interim measures are. 
um, again, uh, I want to be careful uh, not to either be speculative or irresponsible, uh, but I think that's certainly a viable idea. Are you concerned that the Senate hasn't been able to do it, conduct its business because of this investigation and the lack of oversight? Well, I think certainly um, it is distracting, um, but I would say that we have a Senate president. I think she has been acting very professionally and resourcefully. Uh, I think we have continued to move forward with our legislative tasks. I think the, uh, the pace and the complexity of those tasks will increase in the days ahead because we have uh, certainly Joint Rule 10 day um, today, so bills will be reporting out of committees. We're actually considering extension orders downstairs. In addition to that, uh, we are beginning the development of the budget uh, from both the perspective of the House and the Senate. And as all of you know, much of that is joint work that's conducted uh, by the two committees acting concurrently with regard to hearings. Those things are continuing, uh, but I could not stand here and say to you uh, that all of that is continuing without people thinking about the Senate presidency. And I think that's a concern for all of us. Uh, certainly the newspaper reports, I can tell you, are very deeply concerning to me as well as I know uh, almost all, if not all, of my colleagues. Uh, but we also have another responsibility here. And that responsibility is to move forward with the legislative process and to represent our constituents, each and every one of us. And we are going to do that regardless of what happens. Uh, we are going to move forward. Uh, I am downstairs today questioning the issuance of extension orders. All of you know in the past I have been very critical about extension orders that have too many things in them and call for too much time to be extended. Uh, that's part of the legislative process as well. And I believe all of my Senate colleagues agree with that theory. And so I'm going to continue to press that issue. We will move forward as a Senate. And this issue will be addressed. And it may be a question of timing. I think it certainly is. Uh, but it's my intent as minority leader to try to keep us as focused as possible on the business at hand. Have you yeah, spoken with Senator Rosenberg? In the session, he has come to our Senate sessions, and I've exchanged uh, greetings with him. Uh, at each of those sessions, I have not had any other communication Can with him. Can you clarify where you come down on whether it would be better for the Senate to pick a new permanent president now or stick with the acting president? It's, uh, it's under consideration. So I, 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 it, for me, it's under consideration. So I can't give you any more clarity than that. Um, but I do think it's a viable option. How much longer do you anticipate the investigation? That's a good question, and, and I can't give you an answer, uh, um, and I know everyone would like an answer to that, including me, um, but uh, we hope that it will be done, uh, completed as quickly as possible. But I will tell you that uh, neither uh, I nor I think anyone else uh, wants it to be completed uh, as a trade-off for uh, comprehensiveness and accuracy. Uh, we want it to be a good investigation that people can rely upon because we indeed will be asking them to rely upon it in one way or the other. If Senator Rosenberg does uh, step aside, does that end the investigation? It, it, my understanding is that it would if he left the Senate. If he remains as a member of the Senate, he would still be subject to the purview of the Ethics Committee. But, Senator, we, we talked about this briefly the other day. Even if he were to leave the Senate, mm -hmm. would the Ethics Committee not have a responsibility to review this matter so as to, to ensure that there had not been any undue improper influence on any legislation? It's a good question, Todd, and I think that we would likely look at it from that purview. Um, but the shift of uh, the emphasis would change uh, from looking at the Senate president to uh, the process itself. I would also remind folks that the uh, purview of the Ethics Committee extends to all of the members as well as the staff. And so uh, that could happen. I suspect that following this, no matter what, uh, there will be a review of process to ensure uh, that we have the best policies possible uh, to protect the integrity of the legislative process and prevent it from undue influence. That, uh, to me, uh, will likely be tomorrow's job. Today's job is to complete the investigation, to make a recommendation to our colleagues, and do what we were charged to do with orders that were adopted in a bipartisan fashion. In fact, I was the lead sponsor of those orders uh, to complete the work uh, that needs to be done and then to move on to fulfill our commitment to the people that we represent. Thank you very much. Thank you all. Thank you, Senator.